Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Cunning Beauty. I am Delisa and I'm here with another video for you today. Uh, so you all know I'm your guinea pig when it comes to buying things off Instagram ads and Facebook ads and any type of ad that you can think of because I just have a problem y'all anytime I see something that looks cool I just want to try it and of course I'm here to give the review so you can know if you need to spend your coins or not so in today's video you are looking at eyebrows created by the tap brow um, this is tap brow today's video is going to be me applying the tap brow and trying the tap brow for the very first time my very first impression of course I'm here to give you my review but before we jump into the video if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when all of my new videos are coming out and make sure you are following me on Instagram at cunning underscore beauty you really want to follow me on Instagram because um, if you stick through this video you'll find out why we may May have a little giveaway going on so make sure you are following me on Instagram all right everyone let's get into these eyebrows so you can see if the tap brow is really worth the hype all right y'all so I got the package a couple days ago um, not sure if I mentioned this but this is not sponsored I bought this with my own money so here's the package so I did end up buying two of these tap brows I think because it was cheaper to buy two than one. So I think one tap brow is $25, but if you buy two, they're $18.75 each. So I ended up paying like, what's that, 30, almost $38 for two as opposed to $50 for two. So I saved like 12 bucks. So um, I went ahead and bought two. If I like it, then I'll maybe give it to someone or maybe I'll just do a very small giveaway. So we'll figure it out. I also got the color dark brown. Um, I wasn't sure which color to get. Um, typically, I don't do a black eyebrow pencil. I like to do a really, really dark brown. Um, I don't know, I just feel like uh, black is a little too harsh on me. Um, so the dark brown is definitely a little more natural in my opinion. So I did get the dark brown, so hopefully it is a shade that I like and similar to what I've used before. So let's go ahead and open it up. Jesus, all right, I finally got the plastic off. Um, so let's open it. So here it is. Tap brow. And then if I open it up, it does, God, I hope this isn't too dark. I'm gonna do a test on my hand, but um, as you can see, this is it. So you can kind of see the comb there. I say it's a comb, but like the little ridges, I don't know, whatever you call it. But it's supposed to give the effect of like fine hairs for your eyebrows. Um, so kind of like you're getting your eyebrows microbladed. So we are just gonna jump right into it. I'm kind of nervous because I, I don't know about you all, but I'm very particular about my eyebrows. Um, like my eyebrows, as you can see, are very thin. So I have to fill them in and that's just from years and years of like tweezing and waxing. I grew up in a time where I, thin eyebrows were in back in the day, like in the late 90s, early 2000s. So I used to pluck and tweeze and wax my eyebrows like crazy. So now I barely have any. So I have to fill them in, which is okay. That's what makeup is for. So let's just jump right into it. I'm like, I, I kind of know, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, but hopefully I do you all justice by trying it out. So I think I'm going to start by kind of just shaping my eyebrow underneath. And then I will do the kind of feathering method um, to get the appearance of real hair. So here we go, y'all. Wish me luck. Okay, even just doing that first little mark right there, I don't know if you can see it, but it is literally like using a marker on your face. So I feel like I have to be very careful uh, when I shape my eyebrows, which is not good because I am not good at shaping my eyebrows. I always have to go in with concealer. So hopefully that still works um, with this method. So, okay, let's just, let's just try it. Oh, 
Okay, so if you can kind of see that line underneath, I'm kind of just shaping how I want my eyebrow to be. getting there so now I use the feather like underneath so now I'm gonna go from the top and go down with the feathering so I'm gonna use this mirror hopefully you guys can see a little better how I'm doing the strokes so here we go I just don't know what I'm doing, but I don't see how this is any different than my regular eyebrow pen that I use every day. We'll do the other eyebrow. This is gonna be hard to do for you all to see. So again, I'm just gonna shape the bottom. Maybe once I clean them up a little bit, they'll look a little better, but I don't see how this is any different than a normal eyebrow pencil. But let's do, let's, let's clean them up a little bit. I'm gonna use this little angled brush with concealer to clean them up. I'm gonna use some concealer. This is my Fenty Beauty concealer. That's what I'm gonna use. If I just kind of brush the eyebrows, the ink or whatever you want to call it will blend and even out a little better. So let's try to <laughs> y'all. All this hair. All right, what do we think? Not bad. Once I clean them up and kind of blend it and brush them out, it's not bad. All right, so maybe if I do the rest of my makeup, the whole look will come together. So let's put some makeup on.
All right, this is the final look. I must say, as I was putting my makeup on, the eyebrows were growing on me, so I think I think I'm liking the tap brow. You all have to let me know in the comments what you think about my eyebrow. And it was my first time using it, but I think once I use it a little more, it'll get a little easier to use. I felt like I didn't know what I was doing in the very beginning, considering how the finished look looks. Um, I think I did a pretty good job, but I think I'm just gonna keep trying and just perfecting it. So I would definitely recommend this. Again, I got two of them, where is it? I got two of them. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. The link to my Instagram is below because I'll probably be giving this away um, so someone else can try it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you liked this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.